CPS Energy works to ensure our customers have safe and reliable service. However, sometimes during severe storms, customers may experience a power outage. This video will highlight some of the causes of power outages during storms. In order for you to have power to your house or business, there must be an uninterrupted flow of electricity from our source. Part of this flow includes a substation, where the voltage of electricity is reduced before it goes to your home or business. All warning signs at substations should be observed at all times. Electricity travels along power lines from the substation into neighborhoods, and when trees are close to power lines, the chance for power outages exist, especially during severe weather. One of the biggest causes of power outages are tree branches falling on power lines. If you see a power line on the ground, whether it's sparking or not, it should be treated as though it has electricity flowing through it. Keep away from the line and anything it may be touching. Other things can cause power outages as well, such as lightning, animals, and cars. The CPS Energy Distribution System has a number of built-in safety features that react to interruptions of electricity on our system. Among them are fuses and circuit breakers. In places on our system where smaller lines split off from main or feeder lines, there is usually a fuse. When the fuse detects that a line has been contacted or pulled down, often referred to as a fault, it blows open and shuts off power to the damaged section. When this happens, all of the houses receiving electricity from this one line will be out of service. On a larger scale, if any of the distribution lines carrying electricity from a substation is knocked down, servicing hundreds if not thousands of homes, a circuit breaker at the substation opens up and power is shut off to the whole area, including neighborhoods with underground service. Often, there can be multiple breaks along the path that prevent electricity from getting to you. The lines cannot be re-energized until all the brakes on that path are isolated or repaired. This explains why you see crews make repairs in one area and your power may not immediately come back on. Our distribution system is set up in such a way where houses close to each other may be on separate circuits. As a result, your neighbor may have power when you do not. For your safety, keep in mind that all those circuit breakers and fuses are designed to de-energize a line there may be isolated cases where electricity is still flowing through the line. The path from your home to the power source can be many miles long. A break anywhere along the line will mean an outage to your home until the damage can be repaired. 